<laughs> Welcome back. We're Phil and Keely, and this is our van, Martha. So we have lived in this very beautiful van for almost two years, and have you got hair in your face? <laughs> Continue. <laughs> And for the last five months, almost six months now, we've been travelling across the EU, ultimately for our goal down in Turkey, but from Spain to Croatia, and now we're in Serbia, we have been really, really enjoying it. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, every new day that I wake up, I love Serbia even more. Yeah, so true. Man. We're sad that we have to go to Turkey, we need to be there in the next two weeks, which means we don't have a lot of time here, but we're trying to cram as much in as we can while we're still here. And we're going to bring you guys along on that in today's video. So today we're heading to the area of Zlatibor. Um, I'm sure I'll be corrected if I've pronounced anything wrong. <laughs> so there were a few things we wanted to check out in this area and they did not disappoint. We even did some spontaneous Serbian wild swimming. <laughs> yeah, that happened. <laughs> Let's get into it. Let's go. So talk to me, where are we? What are we doing? Okay, so before we came here, what do you see my map? Because we haven't really talked about Keely's map planning yet. So- You're really proud of it, aren't you? Before we came in here, I actually looked at all these different things I wanted to see in Serbia. And honestly, thank you so much to all the Serbian people that comment on our videos. I really can't thank you guys enough. People share so much important information, really interesting stuff, places to check out that internet doesn't even tell me about. Yeah. So, I mean, there's just so much to see and we only have like less than a week left here. So we're at this cave that people have recommended, Google has recommended. We don't know if it's in season, so we're going to go check it out and see if it is. It's been a couple of days just being in the van, doing work. So we're very happy to be out again in nature, exploring more of the very beautiful Serbia. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit delusional. I'm delusional too. It's been a couple of hardcore edit days. Hunger. I can't get low We're enough. We're not low enough. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'll just... oh. Wow. That's cool. Look at the cool pictures here for this graphic is cool, I like that. So we just went to the ticket office. It cost us 250 dinar each, which, how much is 250? Tickets. Like two quid? Yeah, like two pound each. And he said if we needed to know any info when we came back out, we could just come and ask him and he'd let us know. Super. People are so nice here. Yeah, I love it. This is huge. describe how sharp that edge is that just that's like some naturally formed edge filled with water that then flows down and then pulls here to another naturally formed edge what is this science it's crazy wow that's a chunky boy this is cool this, this is, is like the start of a horror movie yeah called cave this is as far as it goes, this is the deepest point of it. That was so lovely. How nice is that? That was like, so, so and lovely. And to think Zuckerberg wants us to live in a metaverse. Yeah, I was standing there at that cave and got all emotional because I was like, this is so beautiful. How can people like lose touch with how beautiful nature is and want to go live in a digital world? You're never going to experience something better than in real life. Yeah, you just aren't, man. Like when you can reach out and touch things, you can smell it, you can taste it, you can... Like when you, know. you shut your eyes, you could hear the water flowing down those rocks and I felt like it was getting louder and louder and like, it was real. It just felt really tangible, you know? Yeah. It was really beautiful. We tried Noki last night. I've no footage of it, but needless to say... Noki should not exist. <laughs> anyway, it this guy... It tastes like I'm eating little balls of Play-Doh. 
Yeah, I mean, maybe I just didn't cook it right, but I followed the instructions. But he ate the leftovers, even though he complained that they were gross. Because I was hungry? And uh, this girl's here starving. But you told me you weren't hungry? You asked me just after I did breakfast. I need food before we hit the road. Where are we going? Don't know. But so far, beautiful. You can also brush your teeth. Oh my word, I'm actually ready. <laughs> You're already trying with your breath. <laughs> Definitely, Serbia is reminding me of home right now. Oh, I thought you were going to say it's giving me Christmas vibes because I'm starting to feel wintry. So we're at a nice little town called Zladibor. We were recommended this place by a few of our very kind Serbian followers letting us know cool places to come. So we're excited to go check it out. Even though it's super foggy and misty, I personally love that type of atmosphere. I think it's proper moody. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah, so let's go check it out. As you can see, Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi. I was just going to show people how misty it is here. Yeah, it's a bit misty. But, uh, welcome to Zladibor. Yeah, I'm digging it. So, we're, we we got a park up right here, and we are about 800 meters away from the little town centre. But, I just love that this park up is in this, this pine forest. Yeah. Like, how cool are all the trees? How cool is that? I just love trees. <laughs> <laughs> I love trees too, they help us breathe. <laughs> the first thing we headed off to do in Zladibor Town was check out the local markets. They're full of everything from meat to cheese, oils, gifts, and the locals are all so friendly. So make sure you bring some cash if you want to check this place out. Oh, those jumpers are This is authentic. Serbware. So I love this. Oh, I could totally, Hello. I think I could totally pull this off. <laughs> this is my van coat. Right, come on, you. This is cute. You holding my hand? You've just had pups, eh? Yes, she has. She's got big boobies. As we walk around, we realise this feels like one of the most touristy places we've seen so far in Serbia. This would be a great base for winter activities in the Zladibor mountain, like skiing, and there's also lots of beautiful hikes, and there's even a dino park here too. So there's lots to do all year round. Hello? Idiot. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna completely buy into our stereotype here and go to the Irish pub. It's for coffee. Yeah, but I'm also hoping, I mean, it's very unlikely, but I'm wondering if they have actual like tea bags from Ireland because that would just make me like, do they serve a cup of tea, you know? Maybe an Irish tea. Oh, please. We'll see. If not, coffee will do. Irish coffee. Yeah, I don't want whiskey in my coffee, thanks. Okay, let's go check this place out. yourself. See that place. I've never left the coffee behind, <laughs> but I, I had to leave that one behind. The interior design of it's lovely. You get to look out the windows and all. Like it's really nice to sit in, really nice and warm and cozy. <laughs> but I'm sorry to say it. I know we're not complainers. It's like, oh yeah, no, I didn't complain. I was like, yeah, thanks, okay, bye. And I was quickly run away before they noticed we didn't drink it. Anyway, go there for vibes. Don't go there for coffee. <laughs> I think that's the takeaway. <laughs> Grab me one of them numerous hats we've got up front. I, put your hat up I can only manage one thing at a time. Oh no. Right. You gotta give it the wee hipster double roll. Yeah, baby, look at this. Look how cute I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so cute. Anyway, isn't this the, the most hardcore thing you've ever seen? <laughs> Taking your coffee for a walk. I know we're out of season, so the weather looks pretty rubbish, but honestly, we really are enjoying it. We're used to this greyness, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely nippy, but yeah, I'm loving it. As long as it's not raining, then we're sweet. Yeah. 
check this out. We've got this like wonderful natural water feature here. Look at him go. Brew can. This is my brew POV. Not gonna lie, this is a genius idea. Keeps the hands warm. All right, way go you first. Do you know what? If you said to me, Keely, let's go in, I'd do it. If, Keely, you had, let's if, go in. if you had the balls enough to do it, I'd do it with you. What are you trying to say? You said that Philly has no balls. <laughs> Ach, Philly. I'll go in. <laughs> Channel your inner Wim Hof. What is wrong with us? What is wrong with us? So, I've convinced Philly to let me go into the water. And obviously I can't be a little bitch, so... Are you going to go in too? Uh, you, you'd give me no choice. <laughs> I said you could just like fly the drone. I was giving you an out. It's friggin' Baltic right now. Oh look my at your word. look at your little face. I'm all like up. so <laughs> excited. I mean, we have no swim dogs, we have no towel, but you know, come on, live a little. We're going in our pants. The van's only like two minutes away. But we're too lazy to walk back to the van, so YOLO. Oh, I'm so excited. It's going to be really cold. Uh, I pretended it wasn't as cold as it was. It's really cold. We have. Yet to ever regret a cold water swim. It's always but time. This, this could be the first time we do. I'm shivering. No, I'm scared. Okay, let's go. Let's I'll go. If you haven't liked this video yet, please do it now. <laughs> Comment, would you do this? Are we crazy? That was shocking. I think that is one of the coldest things we've experienced. That was like an ice bath. Yeah, that was, that was cold. Uh, I can't feel anything. So I feel like we need to get in the van, get the heater on. Well done team. <laughs> yeah, oh, I can't feel my fingers. Cold water is just so, so good for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's so good. It feels so, so good. And you never do regret it because you feel amazing after. Yeah, you regret it in the moment. Yeah. <laughs> but after you feel great. So we've packed a lot in in the last couple of days. We've been really, really enjoying our time in Serbia. And uh, thanks for joining us on this one, guys. So we've got a few more things that we want to see in Serbia, but you're going to have to stay tuned for those. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Now, let's get to the van. <laughs> because I am freezing my bollocks off. <laughs> <laughs>